the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay our respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Okay. He was able to cover his tracks and not fuck that shit up. Okay. Okay, Tommy. Sorry I disrespected you. What else we got? Rich people. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Morell's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. The Pauli and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Then where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Buona fortuna. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Man, this dude don't know how to speak a damn piece of English, man. <clears throat> so we're gonna break into a safe. We'll see how this goes. I highly doubt it'll go down smoothly. Where did I? Oh, 
Gunfire will raise the alarm. At least they give us that on the map. So we can kind of see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, keep whistling, motherfucker. Tommy's cold with it. He's a cold-blooded killer. That's what I like about him. He's over here too. Sure wish I could have a night off. Don't you dare! Okay. It's hard to see because it's so damn dark. I think we got one more guy. Okay, maybe a few more. Uh, okay, he's there. Yeah, you ain't getting no night off. Stay right. Ooh, stay right there. Yeah. How many more? Get up! Y'all ever see that clip, Meek Mill? Hilarious. How many more, dude? No, I'm picking up that shotgun though. Just in case. There's a guy right there. He might be our last bitch. Ooh, fuck. Let's go this way. Gotta wait to see what he's doing. Alright. Alright, that should be it, I would think. Yep. Salvatore. Where are you? We're clear. Tommy. I hear. I hear Tommy. I hear. Where's he at? You... Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? Guys a pain in the ass. Daddy, come back. What? Where are you at? Oh there you are. Tommy! I hear Oof. Same deep potosto, eh? What? <laughs> exactly. Where are you? Look for a Pepito. A what? Um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio, uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind a painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Okay, so it's Da Vinci, huh? Guess we got another room to check. I assume it's gonna be upstairs. That's my best bet. It's probably this one. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Doesn't matter, 
Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. Oh, that's just fucking great. Alright, I gotta get that, uh, shoddy. <laughs> they got the guards where they at, though. Oh, no. Is this all you got? Show your fucking face, bruh. Run your head, boy. No, you ain't setting me on fire. Oh god. This ain't good. Damn! Oh god. That hurt a little bit. Now we're out of ammo on that. Two bitches. Two bitches! Oh, where you at? <clears throat> Ooh, get burnt to a crisp. You gotta be shitting me. Get in the fucking car. Oh, we actually get to drive? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get out of here. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? Yep. <laughs> you know that, though. Is that what you know? We just going down here, yo. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, fuck. They are coming. They are coming. Damn it. This ain't good. Take that on the chin. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? Police? Yes, the popo. The popo ho. Yes, the police. God dang it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? Get on the road. Okay. Let's try this again. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. Bro, they're just spawning from everywhere. Doesn't help I have a shitty fucking car. I know. Whatever you're saying. She could have got ran over. Police? Police?
The Popo? Let's try it this way. Oh my gosh, man. Classic difficulty can kiss my asshole, dude. Wow. We actually got out of that. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah. Where home? Uh, six and uh, night oil. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's avoid. There we go. Whew, thank God. Whew. I don't know how we did it, but we did. Good night. Uh, night. <laughs> he just crouches. Okay. Could have gone worse. Had a few hiccups, but we did it. I think we're doing great right here, boy. Make sure you follow and like. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. You make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways... One of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy? Got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. It's not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last bean pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Okay. <clears throat> don't make me regret giving you some time out there. New supplier. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Okay. We all obviously know this is going to go down south, because every mission goes down south. Every mission. But it's fun. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Sweet.
Let's go meet this uh, Gates guy. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. <laughs> right. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Yeah, but can it go down smoothly? That's the thing. Park up over there. Polly. Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, we'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Oh, damn it, Polly! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! We knew that shit was going to happen. There we go. How the hell did they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth off. Grab all the ammo I can. Is Gates dead, yo? This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Now go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stand. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come what the on, hell is he doing? Oh no, we gotta escort the truck. All right. Let's do this shit. We got more of them. Over here. They told us there's a rest of them. They got the another friend, Tom. More of these guys. They keep coming. They're in my sights. Oh, that's too easy with the Tommy gun. Them right in the motherfucking face. <clears throat> Ooh, headshot. Alright, let's take some health real quick. Oh, come on. There we are. Load. All right, we're doing good. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Yo, they get him. They, they burnt, bruh. The they burnt, burnt. I guess we go down here. 
Yeah, let me figure it out real quick. Over here. So if you just do rapid fire, you can't hit shit. I hope so. Grab these grenades. Because you can never go wrong with grenades. is now where are they at are they right there well you're getting a little too close to me damn Get that grenade, boy. Alright, are we good now? That's what I'm afraid of. More first aid. Sweet. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure thing. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. That's the last thing we want to do. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Oh, this mission is kind of hard too on classic. Okay. Because look at the look at the truck health already. All right. We doing good up in here. You know we can do out this bitch. Oh shit. Oh god. Come on. Okay, they're both down. Sweet. Now we gotta catch up. Yo, how did it get destroyed? What the fuck? I don't even know how that happened, bro. How the hell did Damn it. All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Let's try this again. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts. Okay. Yo, how is Tommy even shooting the damn gun, though? That's what I want to know. You ain't gonna do shit, boy. I'm too good for this. Morello sent more guys after us. Damn. Uh, catch up with him. I don't even know how he. Maybe the health went too low. Possibly. Stay careful. Careful. Your own classic difficulty now. 
Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. They don't stop coming, do they? No, 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 no! Woo! Yo, look at his health. His health is near the end. We, we failed this. I know we failed this. There ain't no way. I'll have to ram the fuck out of somebody if something happens. Unless we hit the end of it. We lost them all. Thank God. Look at the boy's health. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Got the booze. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. That was a close one, man. Looks like a 38. Morell's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder. But uh, he's a tough blocker. His crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet men. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo. Saludo. We just knocking out missions left and right. And it's only 755. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Over there fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything. Except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it? Uh, content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got the judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids in the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. his face and pasted it hey, on his face Tommy. oh hey boss what's going on i'm glad you're here there you go boss i'm going to pepe's for lunch but carlo called in sick you up for a drive sure boss bravo i'm already starving you got a piece on you yeah 
Think I'll need it. Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy is all. Look at this fine piece of, uh, vehicle. Almost like Red Skull's vehicle. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. So now it's two years later. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the Cassandra family? Oh. oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Dulce Ieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, huh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellency, bravo, bravo. Oh, good, Danny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. <laughs> and to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. For you, and for you. Ah, Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Silvieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tommy, just be quick about it. Are we trying to become like his number two? I think so. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing, buddy. Oh goddamn. <laughs> Damn right we do. Pick up this motherfucking Tommy gun. God. Oh shit, look at him up there. Look at him. Get your bitch here. Where's the other guy at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, you hiding? Is you hiding, brother? Oh god, no! Yo, he had a shoddy.
That would have been bad. Oh, pff, he did. Look at look at him. Look at the way. See the way he fucking died. The other guy. Oh, 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 you limping? You dead. You up. <laughs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlos stacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Trying to kill us? We 2G for that. Watch what Salieri does right here. He's gonna fuck him up. He's trying to bust some nuts. Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Where's he going? Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Oh, sure you can. Think about this now! Please! Oh, oh, oh! Fucking hell! I don't think you can do that, dude. Recognized you. What do you do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, I did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a little change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Good. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? 
I don't know yet. The crew we send is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Tap your cry. Don't have a conversation yet. What about the uh, cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. Mm. Bloody Harry must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it. Even here myself. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Dude, it's getting crazy with this story. Bon appetit. This is getting intense. You fucking better be ready. Look at you. You look like a nerd. Let's keep going. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, dumb. Come today, we are at war. Uh, great. So what happens when you get into the business, the life. I hope so. Yeah, man, we got a wife and daughter. Gotta worry about them. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards to look out round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. All of our things won't be out of place. Forget about them. We stick to our own public service. Our guys in place. Good. We're finally going after them. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to buy them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morel's sinking ship. You bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their help. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ. That guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops. Booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. You want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam or Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Galati's done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. 